Hi everyone. Thank you so much for attending uh, this session about um, optimizing uh, production planning at the Locoplast plants using uh, APGAR AI solutions. I have the pleasure to share the stage uh, with Bernardo Diaz, uh, is the Digital Operations Director at Logoplast. Thank you, Bernard, for accepting the invitation. You, and for those that uh, uh, are not familiar yet with uh, APGAR, we are a global data and AI advisory company. Uh, we're considered by Gartner as a leading master data management uh, data and AI service provider company. We have uh, 200, 200, uh, more than 200 advisors uh, in around the world, more than 30 people here, 30 data advisors in Portugal. And um, so, Bernardo, could you please share a little bit of Logoplast context and what are the challenges in production planning, line shelling? Okay, so for the ones that don't know Logoplast, Logoplast uh, was founded in 1976 by Mr. Marcel de Bouton for the production of plastic packaging with a unique concept that was in-house production. The times evolved and Logoplast evolved and nowadays we move from ideation to industrialization of packaging, plastic packaging. But in which markets do we work? And this is, we are a B2B, so we bring you here an idea of where do we stand. And it's, I want to bring three main points here. If you look, we are working with fast-moving consumer goods companies in all the segments, and at the same time, with our unique business model, we are dispersed because we have several facilities around the world. So the sustainability, it's something that we are leading the way and started by the foundation, that our sites were in-house, avoiding all the transportation costs. So this continues to be part of our DNA, so we need to find ways to manage our materials and keep pushing uh, our goals towards sustainability. So the case, the, when we looked to, to Logoplast several years ago, when we start looking how should we achieve this, we looked and say we, we want to be sustainable, we know we are dispersed, and we know we are also in a fast moving consumer goods markets in all the segments. And on top of that, we are an industrial company and we want to be the most reliable supplier with the best products and at the same time be fast to market. So we looked and said digital is the only way to go. We started our journey and the digital is being implemented for several years now with great results. We came to one case, the planning that we will share here a little bit was the legacy tools, we were not being able to address it. Why? Because when we defined what was the scope that a planning tool, a digital planning tool should have, it was not available in the market. We wanted something easy to use, okay? By everyone. Challenge the status quo, okay? Be able to plan without constraints. Most of you most likely will not be familiar with this, but all the plannings based on safety stocks, a lot of constraints, all of this with mathematical models and service levels that you are more familiar with, but all of this brings a lot of heavy to the organization and we were not able to move accordingly and move how expected. So, and the, the one size fits all, why we have so many clients, so many facilities, so many processes, and we needed to find this. So this brought us, a planner can do it, a human planner can do it, why not an AI agent since a legacy tool is not able to do? And Mario, I'll challenge you to show how. Thank you, Bernardo. So when we started uh, one year ago discussing this uh, opportunity uh, in, in, with Bernardo's team in Logoplast, we immediately saw a very good fit with uh, our AI production, uh, AI copilot for production optimization. Uh, because uh, this solution enables us to uh, create and generate uh, scheduled plans uh, that are, uh, should be uh, ready to optimize a set of goals uh, using AI prescriptive uh, models. Uh, so that, that was uh, immediately something that we saw, okay, this is, this is a great uh, use case. And 
on the, the first discovery shops, like 10, 10 months ago, we looked into what are actually the optimization goals. So the first one and the most important is ensuring that we are able to meet the demand. So Logo Plus customer demand. And the subsequent ones are reducing cost, labor cost, raw materials cost, and finally reduce the amount of stock that are stored in the warehouses. So there, that, that was the, the starting point. Then to make sure that the solution was up to the task, we run a proof of value, so ensuring that we're able to um, prove that the, the solution is able to actually generate accurate plans that actually create value for one business line. So to test it, to make sure that it it's performs uh, well. And then we are able to successfully doing it, and then we de start deploying the solution in uh, two plants, one in the US and another in the Netherlands, which are actually uh, two of the largest plants uh, of Logoplast. So, um, the solution, it allows uh, data to be integrated from uh, our ERP systems, CRM systems, using, uh, so that, that that could be either automatically integrated or uh, through the upload of data files. And then users are able to, so I should run it. Okay, it works. Um, <clears throat> so uh, the data can be integrated from ERP systems, either through uh, automatically uh, integrations or through uh, data files upload. And then uh, the users are able to select uh, a business line from uh, any uh, uh, plant and then s uh, with a s uh, just a set of predefined parameters to execute the schedule. Uh, they can do it either for today or for uh, any day in the past. And then we can run different models in parallel and um, actually able, of course, to saw the results and understand what will be the planned uh, resource allocation, what will be the planned production orders, and a, a set of other data that is relevant, such as the planned stock uh, for uh, the solution. So the, the solution is, is based entirely on Azure. It, um, it, it runs, uh, it uses uh, virtual machines to run specialized, the models uh, use, are, are running virtual machines, uh, specialized virtual machines, and then also uses, um, have a, also a data layer, a digital twin, to manage specific data, and also uh, a data lake. Our goal is to move into Microsoft fa Fabric uh, in, the, in the near future. Bernardo, to you. So, Let's, what's not better than check the assumptions in the beginning of the project and were we able or not to achieve them? And yes, we were able to achieve the tool that was built and you had just the opportunity. It's very easy to deploy and self-explanatory. The challenge plan, pl uh, everyone planning, it's a change manage. So we are talking about people. We heard a lot in this couple of days the people, how people interact. So we are juggling, but we are in a good path. The, the plants without constraints, yes, we were able to build a model that we don't put any constraints, only resources. And one side fits all, yes, we were able to achieve two plants and we are deploying the third plant next month. So what was the rational that we were able to achieve? It's faster now, more reliable and uh, enables our people to spend time to do other important tasks. So as last uh, point, I just want to say what is a little bit the next steps. First, we are scaling, like I mentioned. The capacity studies, we focus, industry is very heavy on assets. So we focus to say, are our assets being the best way used and how are they going to behave to market fluctuations, and because we are no different than anyone, we would love to understand the sales and the demand better. These are the things related with this co-pilot that we have in mind for the upcoming months. Okay, um, that's all from, from ours. Th thank you very much for, for thank joining. You. Uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, re reach us on the uh, Building the Future app, or eventually join uh, or visit our stand in the in the upper floor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good afternoon.